A new update for Splatoon 3 did go live last night and pretty much what it did, it did fix a load of bugs in the game but the main thing it did do for expansion pass holders is give out two new banners and I did talk about this in a video yesterday by the way there will be more side order content coming up on the channel soon make sure you are subscribing but the really interesting thing about this update is what it did do behind the scenes in the files of the game and I am really excited about this and it does give us our first hints of what will be coming up in the next season that will be kicking off in December I know what you're going to be saying why are we talking about the next season when we've just got the new season for Splatoon 3 Drizzle season 2023 only just kicked off a couple of weeks ago it's bonkers talking about the new season right now but yeah, pretty much what has been discovered, I'm going to talk about the special weapons at the moment. We'll talk about the more exciting thing, the thing in the title later on in the video. But yeah, two new specials, it does seem like they will be coming with the next season. One of them is codenamed Chimney, the other one is codenamed Pogo. And yeah, we do sort of have a temporary name for Chimney and it does seem to have ink in its name so maybe it will be a smoke screen like special weapon maybe it will be ink fog or ink smoke that is what it will be called but yeah they will be coming it does seem like in december it could all change though maybe within the next balance update it could all change but the exciting thing for me is that with the next season pretty much with this 5.01 update that did go live last night for people in the UK it was discovered that two new stages were added in the files of the game and pretty much one of them will be a brand new stage but the second one will be a returning stage from Splatoon 1 and it will be Bluefin Depot and this was one of my favorite stages from Splatoon 1 I just love this stage it has a left side it has a right side I just absolutely loved playing on it probably one of my favorite stages from Splatoon 1 and yeah for me with this coming back it is the best stage in Splatoon 3 or it will be when it does come to the game in December and like what said that is what it seems like will be happening Bluefin Depot will be coming with the next season so yeah, I'm just really looking forward to playing on Bluefin Depot again. I had a blast playing on this stage back in the day. And yeah, I did make a short a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month ago now talking about the stages I wanted to see come back to Splatoon 3. And yeah, Bluefin Depot was one of them because it is one of the best stages in the series in my opinion. I do believe that means that we only have Urchin Underpass and Salt Spray Rig that still haven't come over to either Splatoon 2 or Splatoon 3 yet. I feel like we will get them eventually because like what I said many a times on the channel previously I definitely feel like we are getting more Splatoon 1 content in Splatoon 3 with stuff like the Trizooka, the Ink Strike now is the Tri Strike or the Triple Ink Strike. We've got the Kraken coming back. We've got stages like Mahi Mahi Resort, Hammerhead Bridge and Flander Heights in the game as well. I feel like Nintendo are porting over more Splatoon 1 content. And of course we do have Incopolis Plaza as part of Wave 1 of the Expansion Pass. And of course Kali and Marie are back in the series in terms of being in Splatoon 3 with Incopolis Plaza coming back. Yeah, I definitely feel like Nintendo are making a decision that, yeah, we're going to start porting over a lot of Splatoon 1 content to Splatoon 3 because eventually we will shut down the servers for Splatoon 1. That is why I feel like we are getting more Splatoon 1 content. I think it's good that Bluefin Depot is coming back. I definitely am excited about this piece of news. It is one of my favourite stages, like what I said. And it will be a brand new stage for a lot of people out there that didn't pick up Splatoon 1 on the Wii U because Splatoon 1 only sold something like 5 million copies which was really good for a Wii U game which only sold 13 million units worldwide. So for a game to sell 5 million, that is really, really good. So yeah, I'm really pleased that Bluefin Depot will be coming back. I can't wait for the next season already. I can't wait to play on this stage 
How will Clamblitz play on Bluefin Depot? We just don't know at the moment. That'll be an interesting thing to discover, but I can't wait to play Tower Control, Splat Zones, Rainmaker, Turf War on this stage once again. Hopefully, they will not butcher it like what they did do to Mahi Mahi Resort. Another one of my favorite stages from Splatoon 1. I don't like it in Splatoon 3. Hopefully they don't butcher your Bluefin Depot. They should just port it as it is, kind of like what they did do to Flounder Heights, although they did make that stage a little bit sort of less vertical, like the flats weren't as tall in the Splatoon 3 version. So I'm hoping they don't butcher this stage. I'm hoping they do have the opportunity to go left side, right side, and then you can go up either side and flank your opponent. Hopefully they don't take out that sort of flanking option because you will see in the gameplay in the background i took advantage of that on a regular basis so you let me know your thoughts about this piece of news are you excited like me that bluefin depot will be coming to splatoon 3